The key challenge for us is actually mobilising a hundred items uh, of plant and equipment through security. We have to do all of the, the security checks and the screening that anyone would have to do to get onto the airfield at Sydney Airport. Once we're airside, we work very closely with operations to then close down a, a portion of the airfield. After one six right smart is all gone now, we're almost ready when you are. Once we have operational sign-off, we then make a safe passage out onto the runway ready for works to then commence. We're mobilising a high volume of plant and equipment through an, an active airfield. So around us there's still aircraft moving uh, and manoeuvring around. There's also aircraft landing and, and taking off. So we are absolutely working in a, in a high risk environment. The main runway is over three kilometres long, so there's a lot of asphalt there. And over time, the sun oxidises the asphalt and it becomes old and brittle. So when you have aircraft like A380s landing on that, it runs a risk of, of cracking and creating defects. We plan these works as a preventative action to make sure that that doesn't happen. It's a job that happens every eight to 10 years on the runway. Downer put together a shift plan each night and it's detailed down to the minute. I need to make sure that they're sticking to this shift plan and that they get off site on time. There's international and domestic planes coming from all over the world and Australia and they're arriving at six o'clock in the morning. So can be a bit nerve-wracking but we have the confidence with Sydney Airport, they have the confidence in us and we get it done night after night. That's why we're here and that's what we do. Our shift planning allows for contingency in the shift, so we aim to be finished with one to two hours of room to move. At the end of the night, we've got our line marking down, uh, we've gone through and done our quality checks, and then we literally hand over, back over to Sydney Airport with time to spare. They come along and do their inspections. That allows operations to come in onto the runway and do a thorough check to make sure that the, the pavement is ready for aircraft. When they are satisfied, they then hand the runway back to the tower. 
At peak, we could have up to 20 long haul aircraft circling the, the airfield uh, ready to land. So it's absolutely essential that we're off in time every night.